there's really four main groups of business buyers. So the first one is like 80% of the buyers and we, we call them individual buyers and they're people that are, um, I also call them like corporate retirees. So they're leaving corporate for one reason or another. It could have been they lost their jobs, which we do see an increase when unemployment goes up. We see an increase in that demographic. But for most of them, it's actually like they hit that 15 or 20 year mark in corporate. They've always dreamed of buying a business, of, of running their own life and they've decided to make that jump. So that's the majority of business buyers, about 80% of business buyers, at least of small businesses. We also see other small businesses buying each other. We call those strategic buyers. Um, so it'd be like if a competitor bought out another competitor or a vertical or horizontal integration. Um, the third group is private equity, which everybody talks about private equity in, in, in some of the larger deals when you get into the middle market, but it's actually a pretty small group of private equity firms that control that market in the US. And then the last group of business buyers is internal buyers. So that's like if someone's in your business, they're a general manager, um, they could be a son or a daughter, somebody already involved in the business that's going to buy it for the next generation or the next iteration. But by and large, 80% of these buyers are people leaving corporate, chasing their dream to be an entrepreneur.